Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy, I'm Joanne. Well, I have another, what I'm calling here, there, and everywhere haul for you. Um, this is really from everywhere that I have been in the Raleigh-Durham area over the past couple of weeks. Again, this is stuff that has been stashed in my laundry room for a while that I just haven't gotten around to showing you until now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started showing you everything that I found. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let us all know what your favorite find or finds were from this video, and I will do the same. Um, first, I'm gonna show you this carpet area rug um, because mostly because it's in my way. Um, I've been looking for another little area rug that I could put up in my new booth up at Main Street Collective in uh, Rollsville because the one that I have up there now I'm not happy with because it is it doesn't lay flat and it's a bit of a safety hazard. Now I found this and I've never seen an area rug like this before. I thought it was really cool. It doesn't really fit in with the let's just say the vibe that I've got going on but it was unique enough that I'm putting it in anyway. I paid $12 for it. I'm not sure of the size, and I don't know that I can show you the whole thing. I'm gonna try though, but look at the design on this. Isn't, can you see it? I hope you can. Isn't this cool? I really like this. I am really hoping that I'm getting this all in for you. It's got a couple of little spots on it that I'm, I'm going to try uh, getting out by hand, just rolling this out in my driveway and just scrubbing it um, with some rug cleaner and a scrub brush by hand. But I thought it was just so cool and different that maybe this will help to draw folks in to the booth itself. And then, so that was $12. Then this pantry sign, this was originally from Hobby Lobby for $26. And what did I pay for this? Hmm. Okay, I do not see a price tag on this, so I may have picked this up at the uh, Durham Rescue Mission bins, maybe, since there's no price tag on it. Kind of a guess on that one. I couldn't believe I found another one of these complete. This is only the second time I have found one of these complete. This strainer. <laughs> so it has the stand, it has the strainer piece here, and then it has the masher part of it, which, let me see if I can, oh, here we go. Yep, the masher part. So you would put, like your tomatoes or berries or whatever that you are mashing. You put those into there and then that goes around. Your bowl would go under here. I can't believe this is only the second time that I have ever found the complete, I'll call it a set. I, I don't I think really it's a set, but I have found this complete piece, the, the three whole pieces. I was really excited about this. That will probably go into Gresham. Um, these, I thought these were kind of cool. I'm going to take off the Christmas part and just, I might replace the ties on them too and freshen them up a little bit. Put some fresh whatever is in here. They're almost like canister set, but burlap bags instead. So we have the tea flour, sugar, and then there is one that says cookies. So I thought these would be really cute on somebody's counter. So pick those up. And then this has a name. Of course, I cannot remember what the name is. So let me take this off. And it is for tea light. And the tea light will go right in there. 
and then see how that is painted inside and then the tea light when it is on and glowing will light up the colors the flowers that's painted behind like this is um like the, the green here will show green in the leaves here i thought it was super super pretty i've had these before and i have sold them before it's some kind of it's that um almost like a bisque because it has sort of a rough feel to it so i thought that was very pretty got that whoops Now this is an ornament, I don't think it opens, no, that's an egg ornament, but I think that that was, is not specific to Christmas. I think that could be uh, for an Easter tree. This could just actually be for any time of year whatsoever, I believe. I picked that up. I don't know where I got this. I have no price tag on it. Maybe I found this at the bins too, not entirely sure. These, if I'm not mistaken, I did find these at the bins, an entire bag of buttons. And there are some little crafting wood um, little beads in there as well. But I will take all of the vintage buttons out of there, put those together and sell those. And then open this up because I know there's something inside of this I wanted to show you. Oh yeah, these coasters. Nothing special on these. Excel. They were 59 cents a piece. There's just these white ceramic coasters. They're a set of four. But I thought, and I'll do this in a future video, that I could kind of spruce these up a little bit by putting some floral transfers inside of these and make them a little bit prettier for the springtime. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. Oops. Now you might remember not too long ago, I thrifted a little suitcase. Oops, <laughs> drop something, I'll pick that up in a second. Well, I found another one. This is more, looks more like a briefcase though. Oops with that nice kind of like a velvet lining to it. The only problem with this one is you can see right there a little bit. See how that's ripped a bit? I'm gonna have to fix that. But this, you could stage this one just like I, I was gonna stage the other one with some books and faux plants in this. But this one you could put even more books and faux plants in and stage that up really pretty. It's a, a faux leather on the outside of it with these, the brass detailed um, kind of buckles on it. Really cool looking piece. And then I found these little bunnies, this little plaque here. That would, could be beautiful for a garden. And this was from, oh gosh, I can't read that. No, I cannot read that. Doesn't matter, I guess. Now, I did notice when I got it home, I don't know if it's a big deal or not, a little bit of the paint. You can see there, a little bit of the paint right there has chipped off. Um, and this is a Debbie Mum. Uh, the, the pattern on it is from Debbie Mum. Got that. Now, I need your input on these. These, actually, um, Heidi got these at the Winston-Salem Goodwill bins. She found a whole bunch of these pillow covers and um, shared them with me. So I picked up this one, Romantic Flower, Spring Market, Sweet Spring Hello. Um, Hello Spring, and then this is Thanksgiving with my Nomies. <laughs> this one I'm going to give to Caitlin. But these others that are all the spring ones, there are one, two, three of these. Question, should I try and sell these just as covers as they are, 
or should I get pillow inserts for them and sell them at, as true pillows with the inserts already in them? That's my question to you, so I need your help. Just the pillow covers or get inserts and sell them as true pillows. Uh, these I found two bunches of. I thought these were really cool. Put these away for fall Thanksgiving. They're sort of a, actually I don't know what kind of material that is, but I think these would look great staged in maybe a chunky pottery vase for fall Thanksgiving. I love these. I think these are fantastic. And then for the kind of kitschy <laughs> folks, I found these two flamingo wall um, yard art stakes. They're in really, really good condition. I wish that they had the flamingo on the back side as well, but they're only printed on the one side. And then let me see what fell on the floor. Oh, some manila envelopes that I got for myself because I did need them. It's funny how I just happened to have found them. Got this little whisk broom. That'll be great, not only to sell, but also for staging purposes. Um, oh, got this green top. This was, um, I can't remember if I got this at the Goodwill bins in Winston or if I got this at the bins in uh, um, uh, Durham. And then I also got this cashmere, beautiful blue colored cashmere sweater from Alex Marie. And then along the clothing line, these four, let's see, five hand knitted kind of beanie caps. We got this one, and then the blue with the orange. And let's see, that was one, two, three, four, and purple one. Five. We'll be putting those away for fall this coming year. This thing, oh, shoes. I'll put these away to list on Poshmark. These, I don't think they were ever worn. These are corkies. Yep, never worn. They don't look like it anyway. They are a size 38. And then this thing is adorable. I'm going to put some kind of succulent in this. This I definitely got at the Durham Rescue Mission bins. Look at how cute she is. Oh my goodness. I wanna put something that not only sticks up as like her hair, but also drapes down. This is just too cute. I just fell in love with her. Uh, found some salt and pepper shakers, which I need because I only have a couple salt and pepper shakers up at the booth, which is good up in Gresham. Found these cute little I'll take one of them out so you can see. These little, um, oh, actually I'll take both of these out because one is sleeping on the other. This is a set of, how do they sleep here? Kitty cats. How does this go? Kitties. Oh, there they go. Kitty cat salt and pepper shaker. See, this one is sleeping on top of that one. So I got that salt and pepper shaker set. And, oh, I'll take this these two out as well because this little kitty is, there we go, he's sleeping in the bed. Oh, look at his face. He's sleeping on the little bed. And then, oh, they have these done up tightly. I hope these are in good condition. They have these two kitties back to back. So I got those three set. Yep, yeah, those three sets of salt and pepper shakers, all kitty cats. Um, what else? Believe it or not, I found another loaf of faux bread. Yay. As you can see, it's well, smaller. I don't know if you remember the other one that I got. It was considerably larger. And this one, I'm going to try and put some sesame seeds on it with some Mod Posh and see if they will stick. 
when I found that loaf of bread. Um, just a plain paper, paper towel holder, which I will use in an upcoming video when I decoupage one of the head forms um, to use as <clears throat> the, um, uh, um, uh, 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 oh my gosh, to put the um, hats on, the vintage hats on. So that will be coming as an upcoming video. This I think is really, really pretty. I have to clean the wax out of this, but this is, I don't know that the stand is brass, but the multi metal on here is really pretty. Look at that flower. I think it's gorgeous. And that should be an easy clean out. And then what I'm just gonna put is a tea light candle inside of that. And then pick up two brushes when you see them at the thrift stores. I use these for cleaning. Um, if you have, like here, for instance, this little uh, kitty cat, getting inside of all of those little nooks and crannies, soap up an, an old toothbrush and get inside those nooks and crannies works like a charm. Uh, found, this was a lucky, lucky find. This is in really good condition. A George, oh, there's a CD in there. Um, a George Briard, red, perfect for what Valentine's Day is in a couple of days, but beautiful condition, George Briard ice bucket. These at Gresham um, always sell for me. I've been very lucky with those. Then the last few things that I picked up, I got picked up a vintage um, <clears throat> pattern that I'm thinking about. I may decoupage one of the styrofoam heads for the vintage hats. I might decoupage one of them with the patterns and I might decoupage the other one with a floral napkin. We'll see about that. Uh, these happy birthdays, I got those to maybe put on some of the gnomes <clears throat> that I'm making. And then this was a lucky find, this whole bag of, <clears throat> excuse me, the little bulbs that go in the vintage uh, ceramic Christmas trees, whole bag of them. And that was that. This, I, I'm pretty sure I picked all this bag of goodies up at retails. And let me see, that was everything in my uh, here, there, and everywhere. So let me think, what was my favorite? Oh, I've got a piece of something on me. My favorite out of everything that I showed you. Um, okay, sounds kind of crazy, maybe not, I don't know is that carpet, that area rug. I really like it. I like the pattern on it. It's different. I don't think I've ever seen one like it or similar. That's gonna be my favorite back there. I just don't wanna unroll it again. That's my favorite. So again, if you would go ahead down in the comment section down below, let everybody know if you had a favorite, what it was, and if you had more than one, that's great. Let us know what more than one favorite was. Uh, Lewis, Again, he is not around. I'm not sure where he is. He might be sleeping upstairs um, on my bed with Valerie because they've been hanging out a lot together, which is nice. Anyway, that is it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for my next video, I hope. And until then, everyone, please take very good care of yourselves. And I will see you in my next video. And bye for now.